So we get into it, the main talk. We're going to go over a, a fair bit of what we spoke about um, in the last talk, but hopefully uh, we add a few more things and maybe get some things that you forgot about last time. Okay, and we'll basically talk about the significant difference between using baits and using lures. But we'll start that off with um, the main difference between using a lure and using a bait is if, if you're using a bait, the fish really has to eat it and swallow it and take some time to do it. Um, and very much lure trolling is the fish doesn't have to eat it. It doesn't even have to like it. All it's got to do is strike it. And if your technique's set up right, um, it only has to do that once and you should be able to hook it once you understand the principles of the whole thing. Okay? That all make sense so far? Yep, yep. Okay, so that's a, a marlin bill. Um, and it's a skull of a marlin, 130 kilo blue marlin. And that's what we're trying to get a hook into. The difference between bait and lures is that we need to get a hook through that bone because the fish isn't going to eat it. We're not going to gut hook it. Unlikely we're going to throat hook it. So we've got to basically get it into that skull. And that skull is solid bone. Absolutely solid bone. Um, I'll try and get something so we can see what we're doing here. Try and get a marker going. Okay, can you see that circle? Yeah. Okay, basically that part of the bill and the top jaw is solid bone, it's round, and generally it's about an inch thick-ish, thereabouts. Okay, it's a very hard place to get a hook through uh, because it is solid bone, so we actually try and get the hook into a, a thinner bit of bone which is actually above that jaw bone down below the eye socket and almost into the corner of the jaw but not that corner of the jaw because that's like a pair of pliers and that'll bend your points and cut your points off. The lower jaw is um, a very difficult place to hook because it's quite flat. There's really nowhere for a hook point um, to sit upright. Um, what we really want to do when we hook up a fish is we want there to be enough room in the fish for that hook to go in full bite, okay? And there's nowhere on the bottom jaw you can do that. The other thing about the bottom jaw is it's actually in two pieces. You can actually see in the front of the jaw you've actually got that little V piece. That's actually flexible there. The jaw, two jaw bones actually don't actually join and they will separate. So if you actually do manage to hook a fish in the slot, then it's quite likely to actually come through the front of the jawbone when you lose the fish. The other thing about the bottom jaw is it's got a tongue in it um, that's relatively easy to hook, but it does rip, so you've got a really good chance of losing the fish if you hook it in the bottom jaw and the tongue. So really the place we're aiming for is basically we want to hook the fish through there. Okay, and we can do that if we get the system right. Now to get up a hook through bone, um, you reckon you do that gently, or do you reckon you need some violence to do that? What do you reckon? Serious violence. Serious violence, absolutely. Okay. So we agree on that, and we'll work out how to do that later on. Um, but that is exactly right. 